What is going on guys, Slickby here, and today we are on the 1.61 dev server. I know, literally the first minute it's been up and I am here. So, T62, this is the new tier 5 Russian medium tank, or I guess you could say MBT, but it is going to be a medium in the game. I'm pretty excited for this thing, so let's just take a look at the armor profile. It is pretty much the same as the T-54. It has 100 millimeters at the, at the front and I believe 80 at the side. Yes, 80 at the sides. We got 45 at the rear. And the front of the turret is a damn hard nut to crack with how um, with how rounded it is. It's just always hard. Uh, even the top are pretty much auto ricochets just because of how, uh, how rounded it is. So good. And uh, the mantlet is no easy thing to go through either. It's kind of a spaced mantlet thing going on here. And it's so tiny that you can't really get through it. This thing is also armed with a 115mm smoothbore cannon. So let's take a look at the modifications here. We, uh, <laughs> yeah. So this is the first sh shot like this in-game, uh, the APDS FS. So it's a fin-stabilized, armor-piercing, discarding Sabo. Pretty awesome round here. 290 280 penetration at normal engagement ranges then you can get an upgraded version which does around 340 uh, to 320 at normal engagement ranges and then you can get the lovely heat which is 440 millimeters of penetration now I'm interesting I'm interested to see how much um, this can set off if that makes any sense how much ammo rack that this thing can set off I don't think it'll be able to do very much but uh, yeah, so that is the T-62. Now for this video, I'm just covering the new tanks that are in the game. Just wanted to go over them real quick. Uh, Germany didn't get anything. Not yet, at least. But America does get the M60A1. I don't even have the normal M60. But this is the needle nose M60. You could see the upgraded turret there with very, very good armor values if we look at it like this. So the front of the turret is 215 and it's sloped like a mofo. Uh, this top area might be easily penned if he's kind of at this type of angle. Um, but other than that, at a normal or if the tank's looking down at you, you're not gonna be able to pen that. Now the front of the hull is a big difference too. It's sloped at a 65 and it's 100 millimeters of armor on the front. Uh, this little band is 228. 137 at the bottom you can just see like the effective armor of these slopes like 240 almost just because of the slopage now when you start to get like the side scraping thing going on or like you're peeking over a ridge the uh, armor values on the front of the tank are a lot lot better than the normal m60 the m60 has kind of like a rounded front these flat hard angles are a lot harder to pen now the side looks like it's got some space shit going on um, the tracks are always big on these American tanks, but 76 millimeters of armor, nothing to front with. And then, it, actually, surprisingly enough, it's kind of layered the turret. So you, if you're going to shoot at this, you'd want to shoot at the back of the turret. I, <laughs> ironically enough, that's where an ammo rack is, so 53 millimeters. And then the back ass is very, very weak. You hit this thing with almost any AA in the game and go through it which is pretty interesting and it still does have the very big cupola with the commander's head right there and you just take his ass off if you've seen one of these things you got to hit these ammo racks are in a weird spot so you can't shoot center mass you got to hit right left uh preferably the right if you're going to shoot at this thing there's a lot of ready racks and stuff in the turret pretty interesting and uh let's take a look at the rounds for this thing so stock it gets that apds that uh most american tanks get stock gets hesh and the 400 millimeter heat fs shells now i'm pretty sure this thing is armed with a normal 105 when i say normal i mean it's pretty much the standard 105 that's in the game now so uh yeah pretty awesome two new mbts that they're adding to the game i uh quick overview i don't think that there are any other main battle tanks that they're adding but just for shites and gigs we're going to take a look at the broom bar real quick so this is the broom bar pretty interesting uh, it does have 100 millimeters of sloped armor at the front i was curious as to what br would be and it's 5.0 so i was pretty damn close i think i said 4.7 in my video i'm not sure though but uh this thing is a premium a lot of people have a lot of issues with that but i'm not one of those guys 
Actually, the upper plate is really weak. I didn't know it was that weak. Maybe it's like that on the Panzer IV as well. I'm not too sure. But this thing might be kind of a tough nut to crack. It's got the shirts in on the side. And uh, sorry if you hear that AC in the background. You got the shirts in on the side. And uh, a lot of space stuff on the sides. But other than that, it's pretty weak. I mean, the back of this is 30 mils. And the biggest thing about this tank is let's look what it gets. It gets HE with 60 millimeters penetration. And it gets heat with 250 at any thing. That's not bad. Let's test drive it. I got to try it out. We'll leave you guys off with some dev server footage. Now leave a comment down below if you are interested in any of the planes and stuff coming out. I will probably be doing a separate video for tomorrow on the new planes coming out. I'm pretty excited for the P-47, obviously. Let's see, how do, uh, how do I zoom in? Oh, here we go. <laughs> and look at the reload, it's actually not that bad. So at a, this is going to be a fun tank to play at 5.0. Definitely going to be fun to play at 5.0. Well, I will uh, leave you guys to it. Just wanted to show you a little bit of footage on the dev server. I'll probably be doing individual videos about the T-62 and the M-60A1. A little bit more in depth, talking about their history and stuff like that. Some people seem to like it. But the quick overviews are always fun. Just letting you guys know that I do have access to the dev server. And there will be more footage up. So, as always, be good. And I will see you guys in the next one.